Every day when you're walking down the street, everybody that you meet has an original point of view. And I see. Breaking news, there is a serious epidemic in our world today. Stains have been corrupting us since the beginning of mankind. Do you have to deal with this in your everyday life? Have you ever tried cheap stain removers and failed to remove it miserably? Doesn't he look shiny as ever? Does it work better? Well, there are four steps to removing stains. Step one, dissolve the stain. Basically, a stain remover is a solvent and the stain is the solute. In order for substances to dissolve, there is one general that always applies. Like dissolves like. For example, a stain from fatty substances such as butter and chocolate can be removed by organic substances. One key ingredient in our stain remover is ethanol. The question is, how does ethanol dissolve the stain and follow the like dissolves like rule? Step 2. Emulsify the stain. We all know that oil and water are immiscible substances, meaning that they do not mix. So what do you do when you have an oil-based stain? First off, do not wet it with water yet. Water sets the stain. Instead, we need to somehow mix the two, which creates an emulsion. To an oil-based stain, you need an emulsifier, which is a substance that stabilizes an emulsion. Emulsifiers allow water to wet fabrics better, and they can surround molecules in a stain and carry them into solution. Emulsifiers contain a hydrocarbon tail and a small polar head. Because the hydrocarbon tail is non-polar, it surrounds grease through an intermolecular force called London Dispersion Forces. Meanwhile, the polar ends the solvent water through dipole-dipole attraction, also known as hydrogen bonding. The net result is that the grease slash soap complex is water soluble and gets washed away. This process is called Step 3. Eat the stain. Not you. The stain remover. Sodium percarbonate plus water gives you hydrogen peroxide plus sodium carbonate. Hydrogen peroxide have the ability to remove blood stains. When hydrogen peroxide come into contact with the blood stain, there is an enzyme called catalase found in blood cells. It's, it is able to break down the hydrogen peroxide into water and hydrogen gas. Oxidizer can break long color molecules. In order to do that, you must break the intramolecular forces. Hydrogen peroxide, which is an oxidizer, attacks the links that hold, holds a long chain of organic molecules in the stain. The oxidizing agents then destroy the links formed by the molecule of the stain, and the leftover molecules are water-soluble and just washes away. The sodium carbonate is able to increase the pH value in washing water to reduce the negative charges resulting in the strengthening repellency between dirt and fiber, which leads to the improvement of bleaching and stain removing effect. Step 4. Hide the stain. In the previous step, you learned that hydrogen peroxide was an oxidizer. But did you know that not only is it an oxidizer, it also is a whitener. It makes stains appear lighter because it absorbs ultraviolet rays and emits it as visible light. Although tie to go is the way to go, please consider the following. Products may cause irritation. 
Do not use solvents near an open flame. Prolonged exposure may result in skin burns and ulcers. And please, do not eat the stain remover! 